Dude, lame. How come I have to be your butt? And now we boldly go where many men have gone before. <laughs> What? New kid, you must find a way out of this place or you will surely die. The way behind you is blocked by the large sphincter. Make haste to the large intestine. All will be made clear to you then. What did we get into? A great adventure is waiting for you hey, ahead. Mean, Journey onward, new kid, or you will soon be dead. The road ahead. Is full of danger and fright, but push hey, on with new kid with all of your might. New kid, new kid, new kid, new kid. Enough of that, please, for the love of God! And all that is holy. What is even going on anymore? Let's well, screw it. We're fighting some stuff. Bacteria. We are literally fighting bacteria in Mr. Slave's ass. It's freaking weird, and I. I think I'm not really sure. Well, stem cell regeneration. They got that. Though they kind of heal themselves every turn unless you take them out in one hit. Just like I did right now. Anyway. Feel the power of ass on ass action. That even makes any sense. And you're channeling. Okay, that ain't gonna happen. See, new kid? That's how it's done. Yes, that's how you fight bacteria up a gay man's ass. <laughs> So much things wrong with this, and it's only gonna get worse from here on out. Trust me. For those who've seen South Park, you know how bad Mr. Slave's ass can get. And Maybe someone with some water can help. I love how Cartman's just like, yeah, yeah, you might want to figure this out. God damn it. And I like how you can just switch partners, even though there's in everyone else was just standing out in his ass. Dude, are we really gonna go up Slave's ass? Your word is the command, my lord. We're already up Slave's ass. Calm down, Stan. It's worth a try. Sparky! Here, boy! How'd you get in his ass? <laughs> now get out of the ass. Even though we have to go out the wrong, the right way. God damn it. Alright, and then there's this asshole right here. No pun intended, but you know what I mean. Oh, look at that. So I just got... How did... Okay. Uh, honestly, I do remember in day one, there Mr. Slave was in uh, the freaking ship, so I was wondering, how did he get an alien probe thing up his ass? I'm, I'm like, why am I even bothering questioning it anymore? Hello, Mr. Hat. We haven't seen you in God knows how long. <laughs> and uh, Nagasaki? No, not the cup of spell. Nagasaki? <laughs> All right, what are we getting into next? Okay, even his own phone. Holy crap. Hello? Hello? Slave, honey? You better not be tied up somewhere, you silly goose. Where is he? Yeah, you don't want to know. You don't want to know where your husband has been. And what he has up his ass. Again? Again? You've been here before, Stan? I, I'm honestly a little shocked. I never saw you that way, Stan. <laughs> anyway, that should be more than enough to get rid of these guys. Higher ball fully maxed out, more than enough. Trust me. Bye, bro, Blade. My god. My god. Okay, what part are we in? I don't want to know. You know fuck it. I really don't want to know. I'm just going to get out of that water, whatever that is. <laughs> oh, god. And, uh, all right, we gotta go up this way. And, uh, gotta push this in here. All right, let's test it. And this, I thought this was a vibrator. Turns out it's just a flashlight. Oh, boy. Come on, man, I was trying to sleep there. Ooh, Jesus Christ. How did Stan get out there when he was in here the whole time? Yeah, you know what? Overall, Mr. Slave's ass has a lot of inconsistencies in terms of, like, what the hell you could do. And a conduit cap. Oh, fucking joy. I actually may as well check out the weapon we just got right now. The Vibro Blade. It does more damage than the Fairy Princess Blade. This is fucking hilarious, and it does 500 gross out damage naturally. <laughs> oh, so many things wrong. Now, what was that one freaking setup I had? Unless I had to buy it. I think I had to buy it, honestly. I don't remember ever buying those patches, though. 
At least in my first playthrough of this game, I know there's a setup I can do. Ooh, crap pincers. Actually, it gives me 75 extra armor. They put that on there. Actually, did I have them on the freaking, well, not witch gloves. It was the squat ones. 10% oh, more bow damage. Eh, not like it matters. Now, where's all my shit? Oh, jellyfish. 25% more shock damage. <coughs> oh, yeah, I'm getting that on there. Fire damage increases by 25%. Combined with the freaking mage's cap of power, which is giving me the 20% more damage ability. Ability damage. So many things. No, 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 I want that on there. Okay, now where is it? Okay, deal, take, shock. No, no, no. I know there was one where it's like when you deal fire, like, fire damage. Unless I'm just skipping over it when I don't even realize it. When I take damage, deal frost damage, shock damage. <coughs> where is it? Unless I'm looking in the wrong section of it all. This is, all seems organized, so I don't know what I'd be missing. Nah, screw it. Let's keep going. I have crab hands now. And I really should not be poking at anything if I have crab hands now. I am the Sparrow Prince. Like you, I was once used for pleasure as an anal plaything, and thus perished in this place. Now you must defeat my angry spirit in order to move forward. I know, I don't really sound that angry, but trust me, I am. I believe you. We know we're gonna win, can we skip this? <gasps> oh, we might not. Let me wings journey a distance far and fast To find his way out of a gay man's ass The road Hello? ahead is filled with danger and fright But push onward, let me wings with all of your might Big head! Hey! Sparrow Prince lies somewhere way up ahead. Don't look back, let me wink so you fear my blade. Dead. Ah, let me wings, let me wings to touch your face. Oh, 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 we listen to the Lemmy Winks freaking theme as we fight these guys. So many things. And I don't know how I'm clicking this with crab hands, but screw it. <laughs> this is a, this is the really the most surreal shit you'll ever encounter in this game. Anyway, whirlwind slash you know what, screw it. I'm gonna interrupt the song. I give no fucks of whether or not I'm freaking interrupting the song right now. Ugh. My anger is greater now. Out. There we go. Hi -ya. Uh. God so damn, reflex plants, vibro blade, and he's reflecting bite. though, so just do this. There we go. Anger is greater now. Yeah, I'm kind of sucking against this guy. There we go. Look at that. Gross out damage is really doing pretty good. Though, I, I know I didn't see it at first, so I didn't have to even have. I didn't even have to see it. Because ghostly effect makes it so he's immune to damage over time. So my spells, they're. Pretty worthless against this guy. All you can really do is whittle down his health with normal attacks or the damage from the attacks. It's a lot of shit. And, uh. And yes, of course, and he is immune to Funnel of Frost too. So you can't take away any of his buffs. So it's cannibal ski. But whatever! My anger is greater now. Good. And of course, he is immune to burning too. So many things with this boss. Drives me wrong. Oh god, we're almost dead. How did I just barely realize that? <laughs> okay, bring me back, please. Hello? I'm just, just finish him off, please. <coughs> oh god. You have proven yourself in combat, young anal plaything. You may journey forth. 
Find the Snook's trigger and save the outside world. Fare thee met and fare thee well. This is the weirdest shit I've ever gone through, no pun intended. Oh, look. Most likely his corpse. Hey, is that Carmen's mom's? <laughs> uh, <laughs> there's too much shit here. There is too much shit here. And what do we do then? I know there's some way we gotta be going. Oh god, don't tell me. There's something we gotta do here. I'm just trying to remember. Oh god. Nah, that ain't gonna work. What about Nagasaki? That'll do it. Okay, now there's more shit, but it's not enough to fuck everything up. Now, guys, get ready for the most disturbing thing that I... Well, that I find the most disturbing thing right now. Uh, but j j just enjoy. <laughs> yep. Honestly, eh... There is more disturbing things, but I'm just like, re we really had to do that. <sighs> I didn't join the company for this. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. Fucking sucks. Armed guards? What are they doing here? Whoever seeks to blow up the city clearly doesn't want anyone stopping them. You must get past them, new kid. Go fuck them up. <laughs> and fuck him up, I will. But first, got the spell. Good enough. Oh, co oh come on. Well, at least he's still grossed out. Okay, I'm screwed. Okay. But before that. Ha! Not screwed. How you like me now? I love how the freaking eventual death thing is just canceled out by the fact that you could just clean it up with a cure potion. You know, you would think it would make it a little more difficult to make it immune to cure potions, so that way you'd have to freaking you would have to kill him in a certain amount of time. Add a little tension, but now nah, that ain't gonna happen. I already have mana potions. There we go. Tactical armor pad. Actually, what is that? Three new friends! Alright. Forgot about that. All right, so I think it was one of these tactical armor adds 40 armor. Eh, I'm better off. New kid came to the storm at dark, neath the cold depths of the London heart. Hello, new kid. I am Katata Fish. Katata Fish of the Stormix Core. The trigger of the thermonuclear device lies before you. I have tried to solve its riddle, but I have been unable to disarm it. Katata Fish riddle will soon be told. There are only moments to spare. Find a way to disengage the trigger, or all will be lost. Yep. Of course, I don't know why this is like wheelchair or well rather it's handicap accessible but your w where is the command my lord i will not even question it anymore this calls for a little bardic access they somehow didn't think that through but anyway if you haven't grabbed everything you can right now throughout this whole thing just just do it because this is the one time you're going to be in here thankfully snook abortion sequence initiated Begin electrolytic infusion. Ah. Cold. So cold. Danger. Abortion. Abortion access slip dilated. Initiate control chip removal. Wrong chip. Wrong chip. Ow. Not that. I needed that. Self-destruction sequence aborted. Ew. <laughs> what is it, Mr. Slate? What are you feeling? <laughs> Jesus. Jesus Christ. 
great job, new kid. But your journey is not yet complete. Yes, but should we ever need your services again, we will call. <laughs> great job. You've disarmed the snook. South Park is saved. Yes. Now let's finish this, new kid. Let's beat Clyde once and for all and take back the stick of truth. Aw, yeah. And I was bald for a little bit there. <laughs> Fucking love it. And the crown of anal pleasure. For having to go through Mr. Slave's ass. Honestly, it's decent enough. It gives you 110 armor. But it has no slots. And honestly, I prefer my mage's cap of power. Just because it's giving me extra ability damage. It's freaking nice. So yes, we're going to be going to fight Clyde with a dildo. Anyway. So, uh, I want to say that this is going to be the finale from here on out. So, uh, next time on Let's Play South Park Stick of Truth, it's going to be the final battle.